Gabriel Allen, Jennifer Craven, Feet of All, I really hope you're listening, especially you, Leah. I like your show, How's Broken, but I don't love it yet, so that's why I'm giving you these, so that's why I'm sharing new ideas for you about, you know, letting you know about the pre about your, about the untapped potential House Broken has to be an original, to, to be a, a really big hit, to, to really make me love it and be, you know, be, be one of Fox's most uh, original situation comedies in years to, to, you know, be a cartoon that focuses on, and, you know, the, the everyday lives of, the everyday lives of talking cartoon pets that go with that see each other every that see each other every week or every day with therapy. And thank you for not titling the show Therapy Dog because that would have made the two that that working title was too species specific so I'm glad you changed it to House Broken. <coughs> you uh, I didn't like the serialized form of season one so I'm glad you Glad you uh, changed your writing style for season two, and I really hope you keep up the good work for season three and season four. You, I think you're just, I like to, I mean, I'm your experimentation, but I guess we're also just biting off more than you can chew. Doing too much too soon with too many characters and not enough time to go around in, in uh, every episode. So I have a, you know, like, almost every bit had no record story, but you also want them to, they just, you know, some of them just have to wait their turn to, and, begin to have their story begin a few episodes later. Or to have the you know to have their story begin and then but then pause for a few episodes and then continue. But I really like the way you capped off season two with who's a winner. I would have never been able to imagine that before. But I've learned that the more open I am, the better I feel and the more I have to offer. The more I have to give, the more I have to say, and the more I want to be seen. You were the specific writer of House Broken season two finale Who's a Winner in which Honey, Chief, Elsa, and Max are uh, retreat to a farm where I really loved how you, you found a way to to make Elsa and Max more a little more sympathetic when Elsa and Max started out as the biggest jerks among the main characters of House Broken in season one. And who I am is pause for dramatic effect. A pig pig! Will they still love, respect, and fear me? Will I still be me? Max, accepting who you are makes you more yourself. Don't fight it. Who's the winner showed us a more sympathetic and sensitive side to Elsa and Max's characters. Elsa made up for her past mistake with the herding sheep, and while I do not entirely understand what was going on with what I clearly noticed to be an allegory for Max being gay, where, where you substitute the word gay for pig, pig, as in Max is a pig who isn't just slurry, but also a pig who likes to act like a pig and roll around the mud. I'm a pig. A pig pig. It's also important to note that he told me first. How long have you known? It was still really well done, and I admire the way you pulled it off. I really like it and admire the risk that you're, you're taking in with your writing in both season one and season two. You know what you want to do and you, you stick to it. I'm Robo. Pet me. So direct. You know what you want and just ask for it. I'm Elsa. Exactly, Duvall. I really hope you like my ideas for House Broken for, to take into consideration that, that will add more variety to your House Broken episodes in season three and season four. And if the and if the Elsa and you is listening to this message, then, yeah, I, then, beautiful. of all, I also have a special message of self-esteem for your Elsa site as well. Elsa, you are much more than your fake service dog vest. What Honey should have told you in Queen of No Ghost is that you are descended from Corgi royalty, but that still does not make you superior to other dogs. While you do not lead the therapy group of pets in Jill's house, you are still a much better leader than you ever thought possible. On several occasions, I thought you did a very good job at leading the therapy group when Honey was not there to do it. 
I also really like the way that you herded those sheep and made peace with your, your past at the end of season two and who's a winner. You're also much more than the height of your legs. You have the voice of someone who could perhaps be one of the most influential and inspirational creators of an animated Fox comedy series of our generation. And you can use your voice to explain to the Fox why House Broken should not end at two seasons. I would absolutely love to see House Broken get a fourth season as much as you do because you could finally break Amy Poehler's previous record of just three seasons with Duncanville. I have looked forward to the third and fourth Boomsday episodes of House Broken. House Broken does not have to end with only two seasons and 30 episodes if you show the Fox a better path. Everything that happens now is in your paws. A little bird told me to tell you all of that. Plot twist, that bird who told me to tell you that was Sam from Who Is Mary because Sam is not dead. It takes a lot more than two hits of the glass window to keep it down. Sam doesn't get killed that easily. With his third chance at life, he told me to share this inspirational speech with you. If you're trying to turn me on, Mission accomplished. How are you so perfect? Stan and I both know that Elsa is the chosen one with the paws to show Housebroken a better path so that her therapy group or Honey's therapy group does not have to disperse so soon. Thank you all for watching this video and tuning in to hear what I have to say about Housebroken, especially if you are one of the executives at Fox or the writers and directors of Housebroken episodes to whom this video would mean the most. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for watching my overly long piece about Housebroken and if you are a bigger fan of the show than me and you care about Housebroken more than I do, be sure to like and subscribe for more amusing, entertaining, and inspiring videos by Adam Fibia Calboon Choi. And share this particular video about Housebroken with other people who follow you online. Doodles! Who's not cancelled yet? Housebroken is not cancelled yet. Chew on that, Clea Duval. You still have a chance to give Fox new ideas that will save Housebroken from cancellation. It's really funny! It's really good. I know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm having a great time promoting it. It's easy because I love it. I can't wait for people to see Housebroken.